In this video, we will understand some important and basic terms related to the geometry. The word geometry is derived from the Greek word geo means earth and metron means measurement. It is a branch of mathematics that deals with the shape, angles, dimensions and sizes of variety of things surrounding us. Let's continue with our first basic term known as point. A point is defined as a circle with zero radius or simply a dot-like structure. Every point shall be denoted by some letter. As mode of medium is English language, so any letter of English alphabet can be selected. Next we will understand about line. A line is defined as the shortest distance between two given points. It can also be explained as one dimensional figure which has length but no width. A line can be extended indefinitely in both directions. Next term is line segment. It is defined as a line with fixed endpoints. Since a line contains infinite unique points, consider points C and D on the line AB. As points C and D are unique and thus can't be extended, so CD forms a line segment. Next term is called ray and is defined as a line with fixed initial point that extends infinitely in one direction. Consider a ray OA with O as initial point which can be extended infinite in the direction of point A. Next is vertex. It is defined as a point where two line segments or rays originate or meet. Consider two rays OA and OB with same initial point O. Here point O is called the vertex. Each vertex results in the formation of an angle which is defined as the distance between the arms of the vertices. To denote an angle, the vertex is written at the center while the arms are mentioned as per the alphabetical order. So here the name of the angle formed is angle AOB. After understanding the angle, let us understand the classification of angle on the basis of the measurement. Angles that measure less than 90 degree are known as acute angles. Angles that measure exactly 90 degree are called right angles. Angles that measure greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree are known as obtuse angles. Angles whose measurement is 180 degree is known as straight angle. Angle that measure greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is known as reflex angle. And angle that measure 360 degree is known as complete angle. Further, if the sum of two angles measures 90 degree, then the pair of angle is called complementary angle. From figure, angle AOC and BOC equals 90 degree. And if the sum of two angles measures 180 degree, then the pair of angle is called supplementary angle. From figure, angle QPS and angle RPS equals 180 degree. Now we have some important properties related to angles when lines are parallel. To continue further, let us understand about parallel lines and transversal. Parallel lines are defined as lines that never intersect each other. Transversal is defined as a line that intersects parallel lines at distinct points resulting in the formation of angles. These angles are classified as interior angles which are formed between the parallel lines and exterior angles which are formed outside the parallel lines. Let's start with our first property that states if lines are parallel the interior alternate angles are equal. From figure angle 3 equals angle 5 and angle 4 equals angle 6. Second property states that if lines are parallel corresponding angles are equal. The word corresponding means sharing the similar position. So from figure angle 1 equals angle 5, angle 2 equals angle 6, angle 3 equals angle 7 and angle 4 equals angle 8. Third property is the most important property and states that if lines are parallel the co-interior angles are supplementary. The word co means same and interior means inside. So the sum of angles on the same side of transversal and between the parallel lines is 180 degree. From figure angle 3 plus angle 6 equals 180 degree or angle 4 plus angle 5 equals 180 degree. This property is also called the allied angle property. In case of intersecting lines, vertically opposite angles are equal. From figure, angle 1 equals angle 3 and angle 2 equals angle 4. Moving on to the next study of angles, we have adjacent angles. The word adjacent means next to. To identify a pair of angle as adjacent, we need to inspect three necessary conditions. First condition is that the angle should have only one common vertex. Second condition is that the angle must have one common arm. And lastly, their non-common arm must lie opposite to the common arm. From figure O is the common vertex, OC is the common arm, 
OA and OB are the non-common arms lying opposite to the common arm OC. There is a special case of adjacent angles which is known as linear pair. If two adjacent angles form the straight line then it results in a special case known as linear pair. From figure angle A plus angle B equals 180 degree. As pair signifies a group of two, so in case when more than two angles form the straight line, still the sum of all angles is 180 degree and the property is simply called sum of angles on a straight line. After understanding the properties of lines and angles, let us try to understand what are axioms. Axiom is defined as the statement that is accepted as true and correct. Axioms are self-evident on which you can base any argument. These are universally accepted and are general truth. These axioms help us to understand the geometrical reasoning and logics. So let's continue with our first axiom. Things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. Second axiom states that if equals be added to equals, the sum remains equal. Third axiom states that if equals be subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. Fourth axiom states that things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. Fifth axiom states that the whole is greater than the part. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.